Hi, I'm Bob Holcomb from Apex Automotive in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. Today we're going to talk about leak detection with an ultraviolet light. The ultraviolet light that we're going to use today is a 12 volt light. When we shine the light onto a diagnostic dye, it glows and it's pretty easy to see. These yellow glasses, when I put them on, it really allows me to see the ultraviolet dye. It enhances the color quite a bit. I would introduce the diagnostic dye into the air conditioning system run the system and if there's a leak this dye will come out where the leak is I'll shine the light on all the components in the system and I see the dye I know that's where the leak is in the system air conditioning systems can leak slightly it may take months for a small leak to show itself that's why the dye is a big help alright so these are the tools the glasses the diagnostic dye and the ultraviolet light let's go over to the car and see if we can find a leak in this air conditioning system so we've already introduced diagnostic dye into this air conditioning system. And the procedure would be to place your glasses and then you would scan the entire system with your ultraviolet light. Start at the condenser and move back and forth in an orderly fashion. Typically on air conditioning systems it's going to be a small leak so you have to look closely and carefully. You're going to want to look at the ends of the AC condenser and you're going to want to scan all the AC lines as well as the air conditioning pump. Let's scan this condenser on the top and I can see that the dye shows up relatively easily especially with my glasses on right here at the top of this condenser and I know it to have a leak. The leak looks like it's not an excessive leak so it probably takes about a week to show up after we've introduced the dye. Once we find a leak in the system we shouldn't stop there. We should continue on and scan the entire system as there could be two leaks in this older air conditioning system. This is the air conditioning hose and this is a pressure sensor to tell the computer if there's pressure in the system. That's a common place for leaks as well. And if I shine the light on the hose, I can see that the gasket or the O-ring around the sensor is leaking as well. That's how we check for a leak with ultraviolet dye in an air conditioning system. I'm Bob Holcomb from Apex Automotive in Great Barrington, Massachusetts.